Hey guys, this is the video I said I would do talking about the whole new theater experiences. Obviously for some of you Americans, if not all of you, I know that your theaters are still closed or in very limited capacity, so this is more so for Canadians. But I still feel I'm going to be giving a pretty accurate description of what the American movie theaters will be doing when they start to reopen. By the way, if any of you are wondering what this microphone is, it's this here. I literally just bought this because I can't stand using the one on top of the camera anymore. It's a mono. Wow. Pretty decent, so I'm, I don't know if you guys want me to keep it here or if you want to get it away. It just depends on what you guys think. Anyway, so I've now been to three different theaters. I've been to one on the island, I've been to the Rio Theater in Vancouver, and I've been to the IMAX Theater twice because they were showing the Dark Knight movies. So the first thing that I'll say is, for most cases, they are very, very much preferring that you buy your tickets online, which makes sense. Aside from the Rio Theater, they actually let you choose your seats. They All the seats are usually in two sometimes three but more so just two they are spaced out in most of the cases they are cutting down the admission the amount of people in these theaters by i would say at the, at the very least 75 percent for instance the imax theater that i go to has 200 seats but they're only allowing people to sit in 50 of them which if they keep that up until august it's going to be literal cutthroat when the tenant tickets come on sale which by the way if you guys have noticed they have now changed their official release date to august 26th that's worldwide. That unfortunately does not include the United States. They so far have 7th of September, but we'll see in terms of how COVID's happening. Honestly, I actually don't mind this at all. Everyone's so spaced out. I always would get pissed off when people would sit right behind me or really close behind me when they had the entire theater to choose from. No one is close to each other. I, I very much enjoy that. By the way, it's also just great to hear the IMAX theater again. Oh my God, they definitely have left the volume levels up quite a bit like it's at what it used to be this is what i went to imax for by the way i really got to do an essay of talking about why i love the imax theater so much but something that all the theaters have talked about is how they are handling sanitization how they are handling covid and how they're handling spacing procedures they check your tickets at the door they also are preferring that you wear a face mask at least walking into the movie theater into the theater itself and then down to your seat afterwards i took mine off and no one seemed to care some people still did but just for me the real theater can get a little bit heated because it is an older theater. I've taken my mask off for all the viewings that I've seen, but then once the movie ended, I put the mask back on and I walked out. As far as I know, both the Landmark on the island and the Cineplex theaters, they bring in this kind of mist thing to sanitize the seats, and they also are very heavily encouraging people to be cleanly with themselves, which you know, they should have done that in the first place. The amount of messes and absolute destruction I've seen people leave in the movie theater sometimes, it's been just despicable. One instance is when I went and saw Spider-Man Homecoming and there was these brat teenagers in front of me and they just left all of their popcorn and all of their candy and bullshit all on the floor in front of them. It, it looked like you'd just taken a garbage can and just dumped it all in front of the ground. That's what it looked like. So they are asking you to actually take all of your garbage out. Like sure, maybe if you drop some popcorn, they're not gonna ask you to pick up the popcorn kernel. They are asking you to actually take your garbage out, which you should have been doing that in the first place. So I like that they are encouraging people to do that. As far as I've seen, I haven't seen any crazy anti-masker. It's not that big of a deal, people. It's just a simple request for other people's sake. At least we're walking into a movie theater. I'm happy I'm able to go back to these things and I do not want that to change. So I would definitely say we should definitely be safe, especially with our numbers in BC starting to rise very steadily again. So yeah, the theater going experience is gonna be different for quite a while. I don't know when or how they will be able to expand or allow more people into individual theaters. They might increase the seat capacity to maybe 50% of what they're normally used to, but then again, they are going to have to space it out. The real theater, in fact, the second one I saw, while it didn't have the online tickets like of where you find your seats, they don't have that system. They actually have probably the best system in terms of showing people what their options are. They have literally taped off sections. They have spacing all done for you, so no one can just sit willy-nilly in a spot. They, admittedly, the Dimax Theater didn't have tape on their seats, which I did see someone try and take advantage of at one of the showings I saw, so that's something that might become an issue, and I would definitely suggest that they just use caution tape. But the other thing is you don't have drink trays. As far as I've seen, all of the drink trays in every single theater I have seen are up, and they're taped up. So. You have to hold your drink the whole time or put it on the floor and make sure you don't kick it over. But I understand that too. They are limiting the amount of contact that people have with the seats. So otherwise I would say that right now they're doing a pretty decently safe job of 
reintegrating us with the movie theaters. I am happy that I'm able to go back. I am curious to see what they're going to do when it comes to trying to increase the number, especially with Tenant. The amount of tickets requests will break the bank when you can only get 50 seats of a 200 seat theater and it's one of the most sought after films of the year. It is definitely the most sought after film of this year. It's going to be very cutthroat. However, I do feel that because of the limited amount of showings that are going to be happening this year, I feel that Tenant will be in the IMAX for a while. It's not going to be maybe four weeks or maybe five weeks like we're used to with some showings. It's going to be in there for months if they're smart. Oh yeah, I guess I should say what I saw. I saw Jurassic Park. I saw Come and See, which I did a review about, which you guys should check out. And then I saw Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. Both of those movies I haven't seen in an IMAX theater. Like at least Dark Knight I haven't seen in almost a decade. Uh, Dark Knight Rises is almost seven years now. So it was really fun to see those again. Really good to experience the IMAX theater and have my ears bleed, but with pleasure. But that's also something that's happening is that there is limited distribution. They only have select options of what they can show. I've noticed that the Cineplex theaters at least, they are showing all of the same classics. They're all showing Back to the Future. They're all showing uh, E.T. They're all showing movies that came out in March, February, except for Bad Boys. I'm surprised I haven't seen Bad Boys, considering that's the highest grossing movie of the year, technically speaking. I don't really know if they're gonna open up a means of dialogue, especially the trademark theaters. Uh, Rio Theater seems to be taking everything and anything. They are showing so much different variety. So for those of you who watch my channel who are from BC and live in the Vancouver area, definitely check out what the Rio is showing because they're showing some hot shit. And if it wasn't so goddamn far away for me, I would drive every other night to see something that was playing. But with the main theater chains, I did talk to an employee and he said that they're very limited in what they're able to show. They have only select licenses. So I imagine that Warner Brothers is trying to keep the Nolan train going. Surprised they're not showing Dunkirk or Interstellar. I would like to see Interstellar again in the movie theater. But this is obviously things that are changing as they come literally day by day. And also they're not exactly making much money from them. Which, oh yeah, by the way, aside from the Rio theater, every single movie ticket's five bucks. Even in IMAX. I paid five dollars to see The Dark Knight in IMAX. You know how great that felt? I would have willingly paid full price for that movie again, but... The fact that I'm able to see these movies for that price is great. Real theater can't do that because they are in an independent theater and they do need to make their money. It's really cool to see that these main theater chains are just like giving tickets away for nothing. Because oddly enough, they've actually still been making money from selling popcorn. I'm not kidding. I have a friend who lives near the Colossus Theater and he says that there has been so many people who just go there and pick up popcorn or they get fucking DoorDash to come and get popcorn for them. Has no one ever heard of microwave popcorn? Are they that lazy that they will not even go to the movie theater to just get popcorn to take home? They have someone deliver the popcorn. But I guess maybe they're trying to be safe. I, I'll, I'll, I'll take a risk and say maybe that's what they're doing. It's not just extreme laziness. Anyways, guys, that's all from me about that little update. I hope you guys are being safe. If you are going to the movie theater, be safe, be respectful of the employees there. Obviously, they are probably a little bit sketched out about going back to work, dealing with public. Anyone and everyone is. Look at the restaurant industry has just been absolutely terrorized by anti-mask assholes and just people being dicks in general. So let's all be nice to one another because it's stressful enough as it is and it's hot. It's really hot. So let's get back out there, but do it in a safe and meaningful manner. Go back to the movie theaters if you feel like it. If you want to see something that you haven't seen in a while, keep checking your theaters. Admittedly, some of them are not doing it as well as they should be. For instance, the Langley Colossus. I had no idea that they had been showing the Dark Knight trilogy for the last three weeks, and I think they're going to keep doing it for at least another two as far as I know, but they don't say anything. They don't say anything on their Facebook. They don't really have any updates about it. The best one, honestly, is the Rio Theater. So again, if any of you are wanting to see what's coming out, they're showing anything and everything, it seems. So anyways, that's all for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well...
Couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. (sighs) To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.